Well, fourth and fifth grade. I'm going to do a little science demonstration with you, for you. One thing that I'm sad about, since we are doing school this way, is that we had to drop science. Because I'm sad about that because I was looking forward to going through the rest of the book, especially the chapter that we were in when you went on break. Uh, because, yeah, it's an interesting chapter, I think. I thought about I thought about an item that I had at home the other day. And I thought, you know what, that would fit really good with the part of science that we're talking about right now. We were, we were studying engines and motion, and we were getting ready to study about steam power. The item that I want to show you is a boat. It's a tin boat, and it is Something that my dad bought for me when I was um, a boy, a little older than you you are. He bought to me and my brother both one. And this is a steam-powered boat. I'll explain to you in a bit how it works. Um, but pretty neat. It's tin. It's got a smokestack here. And there's actually smoke that comes out of it when it works. And back here's a rudder. At the heart of this boat is an engine. And I'm going to show you how that engine works now before we do the experiment. That way it makes a little more sense to you um, when it's running. At the heart of that boat is an engine that looks like this. Remember, an engine is a device that converts energy from a natural source into useful work. This engine is a steam engine, so what it's doing is converting energy from a natural source, uh, which is water in this case, into useful work. The useful work is that it propels the boat. So yeah, this is what the engine looks like in that little boat. Basically, there's this round disc that kind of looks like a pancake, except it's hollow inside. So maybe this little spot at tin will give you an idea of what it looks like. Um, just think of, think of it as a hollow tin pancake. This thing is hollow. So think of this thing, but it's sealed. It's sealed so no air or water can escape. And then attached to that are two tubes that come out and run back to the back of the boat. And they actually stick out of the boat into the water. And they're covered with water when the boat is sitting in the water. What happens is. <coughs> These tubes get filled with water. Uh, before, before you launch the boat, you fill the tube with water, the one tube with water, until it run, the water runs out of this tube. So most of this, all the tube, and then most of this hollow tin are filled with water. And then the second part of the engine is a fire. I've got a little candle that I light and slide in under this hollow pancake. And as the fire burns, it heats up that water, heats up the water until eventually a small amount turns to steam. And do you remember what happens when water turns to steam? Remember what happens uh, way down in the earth um, before a geyser happens? Water gets hot, turns to 
steam shoves up on the water above it, shoves it out of the earth. It sprays up. That's what happens here. The water gets hot, a little bit turns the steam, and puts pressure on the rest of the water in these tubes, and it forces a little bit of water out the back. And so it, it's like jet propulsion. It pushes it forward. And the really neat thing about this is whenever it pushes water out, it goes pop, 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 pop. So it even sounds like an engine. But what's actually happening to make the pop is that the pressure of the steam pops the, the metal sides of this pancake out. And that's where the sound is coming from. Kind of like what happens when you lean against your dad and mom's vehicle push it on the side of it, the sheet metal, and it goes bum bum, bum bum. Except this goes pop, 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 because it's such a small piece of metal. All right, so you're ready to fire it up. I'll point this camera down to our tub of water, the lake that the boat is floating on. All right, so here's a close-up of the boat before I drop it into the water again. Um, if you look, you can see the two tubes coming out of the back. There's one, and there's the other right beside the rudder. And it's really hard to see, but inside there is the engine. It's pretty hard to see because it's so dark. Um, you should be able to see the tubes. It's even hard to see the tubes running through to the back. Anyway, there it is. <clears throat> and before I set it in the water, I'm going to finish filling the tube with water. I already put some water in, but we're gonna finish topping it off. The more water that's inside, the better it runs, and the longer it runs. So I use this medicine dropper and force water into the one pipe until it comes out the other pipe. And I see that it's starting to come out. it was. All right, we're going to give that a try. Here it's floating in the water. And now here is the second part of the engine. It's actually this little man. Um, the boater. <laughs> and attached to the boater is this little tray that my candle goes in. And then the legs of this man clip in and clip around the pipes so that it stays, stays upright. So I'm going to light this candle and then I'll stick it in the boat and we'll see what happens. All right, safely installed and 
burning good. And before too long, it's going to take off and start running. Before too long, we should see some smoke coming up out of the smokestack. The only problem with this boat is that it doesn't run very long. When all the water gets pushed out of the pipes, then, then it quits running. Now you can see a little bit of smoke coming out of the smokestack. Taking a little bit for it to warm up, but it should take off here in a bit. Ah, it's starting. Hey, there it goes. Now it's really smoking. See the smoke pouring out of the chimney. Smokestack. <laughs> Look at that. And the problem is our lake is too small. Can't really get up to speed. It's not pretty neat. What we've got is an engine, a natural source of energy, water, um, being converted into making the boat run, move forward. Okay, well, I don't want to make this video too long, so I'll shut it off now and you can replay it if you want to watch the boat some more. That's really about all that it does and it actually won't be burning too much longer because it will have expelled all the water before too long. So, thanks for watching, and I hope, hope this was fun. Have a good afternoon.